Hey everyone and welcome to the Gentleman Scholars Club. If you've seen my other video on Neapolitan style jackets, you would have seen this jacket as well. You'll be familiar with it. I've gotten some questions pertaining to it, its fit, and that previous video was actually shot mostly from the neck down and from an upward angle to show you the features of the jacket. So you may not have seen the entire thing. So I thought I'd make another video and kind of feature the jacket. Uh, it is a made-to-measure Spear and McKay in their Neapolitan style, and I'll show you that today. Uh, you can tell me how you think uh, it fits and uh, whether you want to pursue the made-to-measure program on your own. So uh, in order to get the made-to-measure done, as of this time, you need to physically go to the Spear and McKay showrooms, and they're located in Toronto, Canada, or Mississauga. Um, I don't live there, nor do I live really close by, but I happened to be in Toronto once last, uh, a couple summers ago actually. I was flying out, and so I took the opportunity to sit down and get my measurement profile set up. Uh, it took about a half an hour. I uh, don't think I really made an appointment. Came in around 4 o'clock, so like an hour before they closed, and I sat down with one of their salespeople. And essentially I showed them what I wanted, uh, which was something in a mid-navy, kind of a light to mid-navy in a summer jacket. Um, I had a suit supply navy in that color, but suit supply jackets are slim, and this was actually a 38 jacket I would normally have sized up. So I was looking for a replacement for that in a similar color, which uh, I couldn't find ready to wear. So when I sat down there, uh, the salesperson provided me a book, and I looked through the fabrics and I found something in the color that I like, which is this. Um, took about a half an hour overall. Uh, he maybe put on a couple of their ready-to-wear jackets in two different sizes, uh, 38 slim and uh, 40, uh, 38 contemporary and a slim 40, which are the two that I can wear off the rack from Spear and McKay. And they fit roughly the same for me, uh, depending on whether I want a little bit more space. I also expressed my wishes, which were to have a fit that was similar to ring jacket. Uh, I do like the armory fits and ring jacket fits, which tend to be fuller in the chest, not that slim. Um, more width in the shoulders, more room in the arms, etc. And this was the result. Um, I also specified certain issues with my confirmation, my body confirmation, that I wanted to acknowledge, uh, to acknowledge or have addressed in the made to measure namely my arms. One of them may be a little bit lower than the other, or it might be the way I usually stand. So when I get ready to wear jackets, one sleeve is always shorter than the other, and I have to get that altered. And tailors are very reluctant to alter one sleeve differently than the other for some reason. They won't listen, and they try to alter them both at the same amount of space taken off or added. Um, that's another story, though. I also spoke about how I have collar gapping, on the right side of my neck, and that again may be due to, or definitely is due to a bodily confirmation thing. Perhaps my shoulder, I think my right shoulder may be uh, less wide than my left shoulder. And so I wanted to bring that up and see if they could address it as well. So they took some basic measurements, compared uh, the templates of the two ready-to-wear jackets that they had in, this, in the showroom, and then it took a certain number of months for the major measure to happen. I think it was roughly two months, uh, if not more. I was kind of getting antsy about the delay. Um, and when the jacket finally came, the usual procedure is to go back to Spear and McKay and to try on that first, uh, the first jacket, and then they'll take a look at it and make alterations for you for free. And given that I waited for a while and that I live far away, I told them just to send me the jacket and I would pay a tailor to make the changes myself. Uh, so what you're seeing then is really the first fitting jacket in the made-to-measure program. It would be refined uh, otherwise if I had followed their procedure all the way through. I haven't had it altered because I uh, didn't have the time, I wanted to wear it, uh, I was lazy, I was busy, whatever reason you can give. Uh, but I think overall it looked well enough to wear and, and you can tell me uh, overall what you think. So the sleeves um, may be slightly short, though I was measured for them. Uh, I think they are a little bit more even than they normally would be, given that I usually have one sleeve different than the other. Uh, I will probably have these lengthened a bit in the summertime at a tailor, 
Um, they're made with non-functioning buttons, so I can easily get them altered, even if I need to move the button up, which may or may not be the case. Uh, the shoulders fit well, and the chest feels good also. Uh, if there's an area that I would alter, probably be the waist. Uh, it feels quite fitted here, and that could be a result of gaining some weight due to the pandemic and not being able to be active as much or being more sedentary than I usually am. So I might have gained some in the waistline, but even when I first put this on, uh, it was slightly tight in the waist, and they would have noticed this, and I could have said that to them if I had gone for the second fitting and they would have made the alterations for free. Um, otherwise, I think it looks good. The collar gap is not visible here, I think. Uh, however, if I, if I were to close up the collar of my shirt and put on a tie, I think I would see the gap there. However, that's also something that can be remedied by uh, tightening the, the back of the jacket, tightening the collar. Uh, which is, again, something they would have done for free uh, if I had brought it there, or if I had gone there. Uh, since I don't wear ties anymore, really, uh, not with this jacket, most likely, I probably won't get it fixed. But again, I could, it's something I could do at my own expense as well. So nothing major. Uh, the arms are uh, have a good amount of space in them. Um, I can raise my arms pretty well. You can see that. Uh, with the jacket closed, it's a little bit fitted. I can still raise my arms, and you can tell by the in the video whether you think that's a good fit or not. Uh, but it feels fine uh, overall. Again, a little tightness in here that I would probably open up. Um, I do like to have some room in the arms. Perhaps it could be cleaned up a little bit at the back around the clavicles or where the shoulders are uh, just to clean up the fabric. But I believe it looks clean. To be honest, I haven't looked in the mirror and looked at the back. I can't look in the mirror and look at the back. So this video will be the first I really look at that. I did ask my wife, and she thinks it looks pretty clean, um, but uh, it could be tweaked slightly. So overall, I would recommend using Spear McKay's Made to Measure service if you are able to physically go uh, to Canada to the showrooms in um, Ontario, in the Toronto area. Uh, the price was, I believe, around $900, and I forget it, whether that's Canadian or U.S., I think it might be U.S. dollars, um, and you do have to pay. Uh, if you pick up the jacket in person, you have to pay the HST. So you have to pay the Canadian sales tax. Uh, I had this shipped to me in this in the U.S., which was another reason why I um, wanted that to happen rather than buying it physically in the showroom and bringing it back. So that's another consideration. But overall, I would recommend it um, to get a good made-to-measure jacket at a fair price. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, as I usually say, and uh, subscribe to us at Gentlemen Scholars Club for more such information about classic men's style. Thanks.